perfect on the black just to screw back in a straight line for match ball. Fifty nine. Sean Murphy can play heroic snooker, but there was no extravagance there, just efficiency. And now it is sealed. The perfect start to the new snooker season for a player who might well Six have seven. a banner season. Yeah, and a Six great and ambassador Phil for our game, Sean Murphy. Loves his snooker. Gets involved in everything he can. Six to nine, frame and match. Sean and he's Murphy. been very involved in this tournament. Willing this blue ball to come down the table here is, is Luca. I don't know why he hit it quite that hard. There had to be a controlled pace about it that was a little slower than that. Second chance at the blue, and this time it's in. So 14 in front, 13 on. It's been that sort of frame, though. You know, you wouldn't be surprised if there was more drama to come. One snooker required. Otherwise, it's O'Sullivan's title again. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. It's been a great match, but I think it's about to end. A very nervy frame. Not in keeping with what we've seen before, but brilliant all the same. Here it goes. Relief in the end. Ronnie O'Sullivan reigns supreme in Shanghai once more. His fourth success in a row in the Shanghai Masters. Thank you.
15. He's perfect. He's perfect. Like I say, he should have won a couple of big titles not so long ago. He didn't get the job done. But where there's a willow, there's always a way. Four balls away from the title. 19. <laughs> 24. This could be missed. as well you got to feel for Zhang Ander who's had a wonderful week he beat Ronnie O'Sullivan amongst others on the way to his first ever final and he played brilliant snooker to lead 7-3 but it's turned around and so much of that is down to the man at the table Judd Trump he's known for his flair and his flamboyance here today he's shown his steel to find a way back in and to finally win this title and now it's the victory lap fifty one fifty two twenty fourth ranking title one behind Mark Williams only four behind the man whose name is on the trophy Steve Davis fifty eight Fifty-nine. Five-two down. He wants to John Higgins in that semi-final again. <coughs> Fighting qualities came to the fore. This has been a different sort of comeback. Sixty-five. Zhang Ander though will be so disappointed. Oh. <laughs> Can't miss now. Easiest game in the world. 70. Yeah, amazing. It was all a bit of a blur, wasn't it, that shot on the yellow? He's having some fun, and why wouldn't he? This is the, the great feeling, isn't it? That uh, he's won. Someone said, just stop it. It's all too much. Thomas. <laughs> All the pressure, all the tension is a thing of the past. Where's the black going to end up? It was terrific how he did it, and uh, congratulations. What a battling performance to win this title. I think if he just pots this and goes on to win, it's one of the best achievements I've seen for a long time, to win back-to-back. -back. Because the irony is, a lot of people have complained, and rightly, about the the scheduling. But you know, Judd has made this journey from one side of the world to the other, and he's succeeded. Well, it's a good decision <laughs> to get on that plane. What an extraordinary fortnight for Trump. And when he was in trouble last week, he fought back. Here today, he kept his resolve when Carter was making things difficult. Could have won 10-6, but has just focused on this frame. It'll be fascinating now to see in the weeks to come 59. what more damage he can do. Northern Ireland's a week away. Some big torments to follow. 
Is he going to have another golden season like the one when he was winning six. five, six ranking titles? All the pressure off now. The crowd have been treated to a dramatic match here and a great week of snooker. Judd Trump, have Q, will travel. Brentwood a week ago, Wuhan here today, the same result. He's the champion. Six to five. Yes, yeah, good words, Dave. Good to see him playing well again. If you go back to the World Championships, I didn't hear of anyone tipping Judd to win it, which is amazing when you think of what he's achieved at the game in the last seven or eight years. No one really fancied him. He didn't win it. I wondered if he was just losing his edge a little bit, but he's, the last fortnight has proved he's still got it. He's still the real deal. 72. Yeah. And there's still time for one last century. Just to close this wonderful event, first ever Wuhan Open. It's been so well supported by the crowds. We've had some dramatic matches, but we've got a familiar winner. Eight. We did say last week, didn't we, the floodgates could open. Well, that certainly happened. Might have to invest in a new mantelpiece with uh, a lot of trophies still to contend this season. He's a special talent 92. and he's turned into a great champion. And when this chance came, he took it superbly. So the black to end the final, to end the tournament with a century. He's 32nd of the season. And what a season! for Judd Trump and what a fortnight English Open champion seven days ago he made the trip to China and he has won the inaugural Wuhan Open match ball tournament ball barring snookers of course which I think I'm like that. Uh, he's played well in the week but Wakeland tonight has been on the wrong end of something of a barrage. This is the best I've seen him in, in all of the three weeks that we've seen him pick up titles recently. He's got better, hasn't he? Tournament to tournament. And that's because he's got nothing to prove. He'd love to close this out, of course, with the third century of the evening. He's a unique player, isn't he, Trump? Great shot maker, and it's great for snooker to see him playing once again at his very best. Yeah, I agree, it really is. Eight to nine. Be just two behind the great Steve Davis on the all time list. He'll be in fifth place on 26 titles. His 20th ranking match win in a row. What a month. You know, the Fox went back last night. I think Judd Trump would love to stop, start October again. It's been the month of his life. 97. Here we go then to bring the curtain down on this great event for the third century of the evening. Judd Trump. What a player. What can you do, actually, sit there? He's had a good week, hasn't he, Wakeland? A terrific week, actually. Played very well, but he's just on the wrong end here of this. And what can you do but admire what you see? Yeah, we might see some shots here as well coming up. Seventh frame was the big one. Wakeling looked like he was going to win it. Trump made a wonderful clearance. And since then, he has just motored to the winning line. 
Wanted to be going all round the angles again here from pink to black. The shot is on. Come on then, genius pop this. He's got an angle to just run in behind that well on the left. Be interested to see how he plays it. Now what does he do? Can just drop it in and get over to that left cushion. Or does he want to play it out onto the went into a corner bag? That's absolutely perfectly played. It was a bit of a distance away from the cushion to be playing the cannon, but he just brought it slightly into a better place. And the other red is not dissimilar where it's situated on the right to where the last one was. Well, the next shot is a very big one. I can't believe he'd be doing anything but playing it behind this one. This time, surely to the right cushion. Either left middle or left corner, depending on where he lands. It's even better. Even better. 46. Except that he's now stretching. <laughs> now, had he been just this side of the blue, it would have been an absolute perfect place to be. He's just got more work on now. Tom missed a black off the spot right behind it. I don't think he's missed many of those this week. For me, one of the most impressive things about him, he, he, he's just, it seems impossible to rattle. He's got this air of cool, however he's feeling inside, he always looks calm. Can he stay calm for the next moment or two? Three, Three years ago, he dropped off the tour. We might never have seen him again. Got back on and has had the month of his life, but this is boiling up now to the moment of his life. Yes, and he won't need the black. That's a pretty 55. crucial point in this. If he gets low on this blue, with the pink down there, then the pressure almost is released. Oh, that looks absolutely A1. Goodness me, this is terrific. And just bounce it in and be faced with a straightish pink. And it will be the biggest shot of his career by a long way. Well, Tom Ford was looking good to win this frame. He missed unexpectedly. This is championship ball. Oh! What a performance from Zhang Ander. Things can just further out of control in these breaks. You've got a chance to recover it straight away. But given he shouldn't be there, all of a sudden shots like this can now be missed. Oh. 
but he uh, recovers nicely. You know the old saying, Neil, the last frame is the hardest to win. I think with Mark Allen, it isn't. He's shown on multiple occasions he's made of granite. He's got what all snooker players crave, coolness. I don't think Judd is feeling that he's going to come back to the table here. He's seen enough of Mark Allen scoring today, and he probably feels that uh, yeah, this golden run is over. Yes, he didn't win last week in Tianjin. He was beaten by Stephen Maguire, but getting to the final here, it was a continuation of his great form. But on the day, he's definitely been second best by some margin. And he's on the brink. And this would mean a lot because Mark Allen came in for quite a lot of criticism for how he'd slowed his game down. At times, probably to his detriment. But he's got the balance right now, that's for sure. This is it. In goes the pink. Mark Allen in the pink himself. Sixty-nine. It's been a dominant display. How fitting it would be if Allen could possibly finish off seventy-five with a century. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. That was a minor consideration. The major job has been done, and a major tournament has been won. Last season, he won three big events. But I get the impression, given who he's beaten today, and how handily he's beaten Jeff Trump, this might be one of the sweetest victories of all. Well, another century break. Just oh, keeps so. getting better and better. Are they going to keep the applause going while he's clearing up? Why not? You're witnessing something nights. very, very special. Legend. Well, <laughs> not much shout about legend, and he still potted the red. I don't think a legend's a strong enough word for what you're watching here. 117. Right-handed, left-handed. seconds a shot all the way around the angles to get on the blue here it comes don't hit the pink 124 i think these two players will give each other a big hug because they have given us a final that is absolutely incredible and listen to the crowd here just listen to them Lovely to see. Little in the installments at the moment. 
attention on pockets. Uh, well, another gift, another gift. Well, the clues are there. It's going to be Alan's night. Five o'clock, please. 46 in front, two minutes left, ball in hand again. Time to bring it home. One. And it'll be in double figures for ranking titles. It'll be tied with the great Jimmy White on 10. And plenty more snooker, of course. Still to come, we'll be at the Scottish Open next week. And then into the Seven. second half of the season. He's become hard to beat, regardless of any mistakes he's made. No one's put, put him away here. Eight. You can't uh, fluke this, actually. You know, you've got to be the best player. You've got to be on your guard in every match. He hasn't quite finished it in the style he might have hoped for, but ultimately he's going to pick up the championship. It's an uh, event that he was probably the favourite to win, or certainly the highest seeded player. So he's gone with form for once. He's been smart, hasn't he? When he's broken down, he's not been leaving chances. That's what I'm saying, he's just become a very hard player to beat. Well, I guess it had to be. The man they call the pistol has prevailed at the shootout. Well, he copes with that shot particularly well, doesn't he? And now he is on the brink. He needs another red. Again into the middle, and he's very good in the middle pockets. 55 the lead, just 59 left. Championship ball. Opon Sankam has had a wonderful tournament. He's broken new ground to reach his maiden. Ranking final, and he's put up a tremendous fight this evening, having been completely outplayed in the first session. But Gary Wilson has held his nerve. There's something about Edinburgh 45. that chimes with this guy. He's had an indifferent season. He's not played anything like his best snooker since he won this trophy 12 months ago, but returning here has inspired him. And now he's going to be a, role, a multiple ranking champion. Yeah, John Parrott has done it, winning the first ranking event and doubling up the next year. Mark Allen did it in haiku. And now Gary Wilson is going to do it. And both of these two years he's won, he would have been pretty much unfancied to do so. There's the congratulations. Once again, Gary Wilson rules the roost in Edinburgh. He becomes only the third player to successfully retain his maiden ranking title. He is the Scottish Open champion for the second year running. Whoa. Such a shame, but as I say, nothing to be ashamed of. He's had such a tremendous week. And if he can produce that form at the World Championship, Stephen, I think he could be a contender. Contender? Eight. <laughs> oh, so you mean Ali? I thought you... Ali. No. Sorry, I got confused there. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Absolutely he's a contender. He's already been to two finals there. <laughs> no, I was just looking on the bright side for Ali. It's, uh... But Ronnie O'Sullivan, once again, what a remarkable player he is. And I keep saying it, Stephen, and I'll say it again, as he's a more talented sportsman playing any sport in the world today, I want to know who it is. Yeah, absolutely. Totally agree. 24. That's two finals in a row, triple crown events, 7-7. Seven, seven, and he's just pulled away from his opponent. I said it was fine margins. That 15th frame could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. 30. Settle down now, please. 
talking about the World Championship again. Won. He's going to take some stopping. I'm trying. I'm looking for challengers who could possibly stop him taking this triple crown. Not many. No. And Ali Clark will come over to Ronnie and say, well done, congratulations. It's another fantastic performance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. OK, the yellow's on. But he's going to have to play this with some pace. You can't play this to Quite hold. Quiet down now, please. Thank you. Might even think about playing it to Cannon the Brown to hold the cue ball. I don't believe the pace that he played it, but he's played it perfectly. On the threshold of yet another triumph, it would be his fourth tournament win in just seven tournaments entered this season. But still two pots to go. Five. Oh, the green by Judd was sensational. <clears throat> but so was the, the yellow that Ronnie's just knocked in. Brown for the title, virtually. And then it goes. Yeah. A trademark blue for the greatest of all time. Seven. Didn't win a single ranking event last season, even though he did claim the Masters, and now he's a ball away from his fourth in this campaign already. And as so many pots have been this evening, in particular, right in the centre from Judd Trump, he's been ruthless. It's been a great week for Xi Jiawei after the disappointment of the way in which he lost the World Semi Final last season. He's got to his first ranking final. He's moved to a career high ranking in the process. But he's going to fall a little short tonight in the face of the form player. Sixty-four. Utterly dedicated to what he achieves on the match table, Judd Trump treats every tournament 65. with equal importance and respect. And he's snackled yet another one. He has, he can't make a century here. Can reach 99, that's about it. But that's a bad break to make. And while he's got an eye on centuries, I don't think he's worried. He's, what he's got an eye on tonight is the trophy. And he's about to lift it again. It's been a terrific week here in Berlin. and. Slightly extended tournament has enabled a lot of the best players to be around, and uh, one of the very best has, has won the whole thing again. Nothing like the feeling when you know the job is done, another trophy has been bagged. It's like the victory lap for Trump, and stand by all pockets when he's in this mood. The winning machine that is Judd Trump has done it again. It's a record third German Masters title for the Juddenort. What a performance in front of this capacity Berlin crowd at the Temple Drone. A wonderful achievement again from Trump. A fourth title this season in his seventh final. He has defeated Xi Jiawei 10-5 to become German Masters champion once again. Gary didn't feel that the top red of the two together me. below the black was quite available, so he's purposely played for this red to the left center, and he's nicely on it to hold again for the black. Twelve. So this black to go 58 points in front with just 67 remaining. So red in the colour, and it'll be at snooker's required. 
And there'll be no way back to the table 19. for Martin O'Donnell. He'll be disappointed, and I'm disappointed for him. 20. He had that great semi-final win over Elliot Slesser, and prior to that, defeated Luca Brussel, the reigning world champion, who looked in tremendous form. <laughs> but uh, that applause tells you that uh, it's perfect on the, the red that will clinch it. No way Thank back you. now. Disappointment from Martin O'Donnell. And I know Gary Wilson, he's very hard on himself, and he'll be disappointed the way he's played today, but the win was important. And after that performance against John Higgins in the semi-final, he's shown everybody what a talent he is. And definitely one of the people to beware of come the World Championship. It's close, it's close, but it's not going to be there. It'll be a handshake. He's won the Scottish, and now adding to that his second All Nations Championship, he wins the Welsh Open comfortably. Beating Martin O'Donnell by nine frames. Slightly. It looks like he can still pot this red. 55 in front, 67 on. Couple more pots needed. Well, a nice kiss actually on the blue. Because if he pots it, it'll be 61 in front with 59 on. So here we are then. Quarter to midnight it is. This is match ball. <laughs> Barring the snookers, it's going to be Mark Allen's title. 18. Sorry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Surely that's it. A little reaction from Alan. My word, it's been a battle. We've just gone over seven hours playing time. It's not been a, a final full of fluency. But once again, he's demonstrated his mettle. He's demonstrated that he's become one of Snooker's real tough guys. Credit to Zhang Ander for the tournament he's had, for the season he's having. We're going to see him as a seed at the Tour Championship. Mark Allen, 24. Having a look at the scoreboard, Frame. and he's coming over to shake hands. It was a real battle, but in the end, it's Mark Allen who wins the Johnston's Paint Players well Championship. Well he's held off a very determined Zhang Ander, and he wins his 11th world ranking title, his fifth in two seasons. He's the winner by 10 frames to eight. Well, this will be some shot fail if he can try and split up these two reds. As he made it, and might need a help off the yellow. Yes, he's got it. What a shot! <laughs> I have to say he played it off the yellow, but he... I don't think so. But he'll certainly take it. I'd love to see another century. He's got an insatiable appetite for them. 92. 93. He needs 16 more points, Ken, to finish this match with 400 unanswered points. Yeah. 
Well, they came to see the great Ronnie O'Sullivan, and he certainly delivered. There's no doubt about that. This has been majestic, O'Sullivan. Vintage. Vintage, victorious, the best there's ever been. 111. 117. The game isn't easy, honest. Snookers. In it goes, and he's nicely Perfect. on the green just to make extra sure. Uh, well done, Mark Selby. He's played fantastic the last two days. And also, well done, Joe O'Connor. Tremendous performance to get to the final. 26. And a great tournament and a worthy winner in Mark Selby. Yeah, Joe, alongside me, won the first Championship League way back in 2008. Who did he beat in the final? Mark Selby, who then lost to Judd Trump the following year. 30. But has finally got his hands on the Championship League trophy. And this could be a springboard now for the rest of the season as we continue the run into the World Championship. Mark Selby, An all-Leicester affair here in the city of Leicester has been won by Mark Selby. Oh, hang on. Well, it looked for a minute those kisses might have been good until he went in off. Yeah, I think he was a bit unlucky to glance off both blue and green. Trump won't need that blue that's gone safe. In goes the red, so another chance for Jeff Trump to get this one. Yeah, the blue going safe, not uh, a problem, is it, for for Judd? It would be a problem for Ding if he got back to the table. Of course, he can get the match one before that ball. Is the ball on, the blue? It's actually been a brilliant session, hasn't it? It's just that obviously Trump came into it with such a commanding lead. It's been very good, the, Ding has played a lot better this evening, strangely, but uh, with so much to do from this afternoon, especially with Judd Trump arguably playing even better snooker. Meanwhile, Zhu Ying, the referee, has got enough to Six. contend with putting the balls back, officiating the game and keeping the crowd under control. Well, the green is for the title. It's to put him 23 in front with 22 on. There was a moment there, absolute calm, wasn't there? Everyone went quiet. So Judd Trump poised for the third time in his career to have won at least five ranking titles in a season. For the third time to have gone over a million pounds prize money for a season. And he's going to tie the great Steve Davis in fourth place on the all-time list of ranking event winners with 28. Judd Trump, 17. Unless Ding gets these snookers. Yeah, he's probably got to carry on. He needs two to win. Most unlikely. But if you don't try, you'll never find out.
looked in, but they've just pulled away ever so slightly at the, the last couple of rolls. Now two on the Five. pink and black. I've seen it done, but only about once or twice ever. Well, if he if he ends up winning the frame and the title, we'll be talking about this in 40 years. That's how unlikely it is, but he's giving it a go. He's had a great week, Ding. It's great to see him playing well. I think all fans, certainly here in China, but right around the world, like seeing him knocking in the big breaks. But something about Judd Trump in these finals, he seems to play his best snooker of the week when he gets to a final. He's so good at getting wins on the board, getting through those early rounds, and then turning up for big occasions like this. I feel sure if this wasn't the end of the match, he wouldn't be trying to get these, but he's just feeling he should give it some sort of go. It's very hard. Yeah, I mean, to get two, one is extremely difficult. You've got to get it almost straight away because of uh, the chance of the person who's in front just putting the balls over the pockets or in the pockets in this case. Yeah, that's it now. Judd Trump's brilliant season continues here in Yushan. He wins his fifth ranking title of a campaign that is not yet over to defend the World Open title. Mark, yeah, as you say, it was a big, big shot. And he's missed it. So Luca Brussel, as we see the miss again, steps forward. 24 in front. Not much more to do here. One. Going to need two yellows. In fact, he was 34 in front. So yeah. snook is needed. Yeah, it was. A, that's. I think that was the thing, wasn't it, Dave? You know, it was such a big shot for Mark Selby, knowing that. He can't help Three. but leave the red. And they always used to say you mustn't cannon a red out off a red. Most Five. of the time that's not true, but it actually worked in that way. Eight. Rianne Evans for 20 years has been the queen of women's snooker and she's going to share this crown with the current Crucible King. They always look like a cracking pairing. Oh. Remember, they only just got in the final. They have to win the last frame of the group to get here. Brussel has been brilliant, I think, in this match. And in the end, he's potted the winning balls. It's victory in the World Mixed Doubles Championship for Luca Brussel and Rian Evans by four frames to two against Mark Selby and Rebecca Kenner. A dramatic two days here in Manchester. It's all smiles for Brussel and Evans. In frame 11, it was a red to the middle pocket. Now Williams gets in again. Now oh, Sullivan's timing is clearly askew. Needs a colour with the, this. Seven. Uh, these are tough reds, but uh, Williams lines them up pretty well. Not this time. Mark the winning Williams line seven. is the winning line, isn't it? No matter who you are, and you've still got to get over it. One. And I'll tell you what, I bet Mark Williams wishes he had put the yellow safe when he attempted it a while ago. Oh, 
he's kind of in between here. Six. Yes, he's on the red. The interesting thing is, you just check to see if it goes to the top left. So he must have played on it in to the middle. And he's going to have to play it across there, I think. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Well, he's not thinking about cutting this in, is he? He looks mightily thin. I don't think that's on. Don't know if he could double it to right middle or whether he just wants to play a great safety shot. He's played the double. He's got it. And to be honest with you, the last few shots, O'Sullivan, his spirit looks to have been broken by Williams. You've seen it for a frame or so. Mark Williams, one. 29 in front, 27 on. O'Sullivan needs one snooker. But Neil's hit the, the nail on the head as he normally does. O'Sullivan, dispirited, crestfallen. And now surely Britain. Indeed. It was a cracking final. The final frame, that was the epitome of scrapping. But Mark Williams will not be bothered in the slightest. He's having to work for every shot here because he's lost the cue ball a few times, which is understandable. You don't often see that from Karen Wilson. He's been battling away for that one frame that he needs. Look at that reaction from Kyron. Jack Jones has been awesome in this year's World 34. Championship. He has been fantastic. The Welshman has come of age here at the Crucible Theatre, getting through to the final. He's had a wonderful championship. Yeah. And it's hard to describe how this man is feeling at the moment. He's in bits. He is in bits out there. He can't believe that he is world champion. You better see an emotional Karen Wilson. He keeps looking up at the balcony. He can't even see the reds. He's in bits at the moment, but what a world championship he's had. And he realizes his ambition. The players give each other a hug there. Wonderful, wonderful world championship from Jack Jones to Karen Wilson. You're the man, you are the Kazoo World Championship for 2024.